This is an epilogue. My story is pretty much done, but I wanted to finish about my grandfather's story. He had a lifelong struggle with tuberculosis. His two sons died in childhood, probably from tuberculosis. Dr. Fred Fujikawa told me, he always held his sons, like right here, cough, cough, cough. <laughs> and that was his theory on why the sons died. Um, it's just no way to prove that. At the time of the evacuation, Dr. Tashiro was confined in Monrovia's Marino Sanitarium for tuberculosis patients. They did not, therefore, bring him into a camp because you don't bring contagious people into the internment camp. So he got sent straight over to Colorado. He nearly died in 1950 in a hospitalization. Now, remember this old Kumamoto connection, Miyamoto Tsunezo, owner of the Higoya Hotel, where he first opened his practice. He needed surgery. So even though my grandfather was supposed to be convalescing, you know how people are at obeying doctor's orders. They may or may not. In fact, he insisted on performing a multi-hour surgery by himself. Well, with assistance, but still, he wanted to do this one for his old friend. Early morning the following week, he had a heart attack early in the morning. He was admitted to his own hospital. He had a second heart attack, a third heart attack, and he died later that day. Um, to get to some of the emotions, I thought I'd quote a poem. This is a poem by a Japanese novelist again. The tiny bird of tuberculosis is perched on my bones. Your beak pecks at me, mixing blood in my phlegm. When you flap your wings, I cough. I turn on my inhalator to make you slumber. To conceal the pain, I tease death as if teasing a dog. Death bites into me and shows its teeth, intending to tattoo its initials. Lifelong struggle with TB. Um, this is a good family friend, Auntie Michie, Matsuishi Michie. This is a poem she wrote, and this is how I'm going to end the presentation. Um, I just saw it with new eyes this time while I was preparing this talk. Today is again an empty day, now that our friend who came to see the beautiful blue skies of Coachella is long gone. That flower, this flower, all now are in bloom, but their kind-hearted friend is asleep forever. He lived to keep others in health, though forgetting himself to do so. I think that really summarizes him. Now on February 11th, over a thousand people crowded LA Union Church just up the block uh, to attend the funeral and Mr. Tsunezo Miyamoto, who we operate on, fully recovered. Thanks for listening to the presentation.